Hey everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 The Reapers Do as Byzantium and uh, I quickly want to apologize for the long break that we had in between uh, well the last episode and this one but that was because I was sick I can I can still f hear it that I'm that I'm still somewhat sick but actually I'm doing much better so I'm finally able to record again and uh, so yeah that's what we're doing uh, we left off last time in this war against well, actually, France, or well, not really France, we're actually fighting this this small dude here, uh, the Holy Roman Empire, our ally, have declared a war, we have obviously joined, and now France has decided to defend this guy, and, uh, well, all kinds of things have happened. So we are at war with Lombardy and the Queen Mary, oh no, of Naples. Uh, for some reason, I thought this was the French. Well, it is House Anjou, and Naples, I think, looks, th their flag looks similar. Well, actually, it's it's the dynasty flag. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we're fighting a French filthy uh, queen here, and um, I've decided that we're actually going to raise some men. Uh, I'm not really helping out. I have, I think, about 100 men uh, helping out the Holy Romans, which is not really much. But we're going to go ahead and siege some stuff here, which is rightfully ours. Um, so that's cool. Now also, I believe we left off last time with a meeting, uh, a secret meeting with our council where we have the potential, uh, well, yeah, the potential possibility of um, becoming uh, immortal. Uh, that will be obviously be kind of fun because uh, one of the new features of Reapers, Reapers Do, which is by now actually an old DLC, um, but for me it's still new and, and I'm, I love to experience these new features and um, you know that would be awesome to see that. But yeah, uh, let's actually lead, uh, read what this is all about. So a meeting of the minds, your council convenes and the faces of your advisors speak of confusion. Why are we here, my lord? It comes with a hint of concern. You sit down and suspense is almost tangible as you leave the question hanging in the air. Finally, you speak, and without disclosing much of your current nightly restlessness, you convey the message eloquently enough. I want to discuss the concept of life and death. And I want to look into everlasting life. Okay, they nod. Slowly. So what do you think? The spirit rises in the room as your counselors start to talk, some hesitantly, some gesturing wildly. They all have ideas. Okay, so maybe you guys should decide what to do. You continue staring out of the window. Now, this is very interesting. I really want to become uh, immortal. That, that that would just really be, be awesome. Um, now, we have a shit guy, to be fair. We have a really shit guy, but still. Let's see what, what's going on um, and see how this turns out. We're actually making quite decent cash. Um... You have accepted my alliance. Yes, I know. We're fighting together in a war. Because you're an ally. This guy is truly an idiot. He is truly an idiot. Why does he get to rule the Holy Roman Empire? He's actually king of Bohemia as well. He should not, he should not be the king of Bohemia. Truly. Um, and my sister has stopped her scheming. That's very good. She is the queen of Serbia. So yeah, you should definitely stop that. Um... 1,500 men. Who's leading this? Tiberios. Do we have anyone else? Hmm, this guy. Well, he's actually a pretty good commander. I don't want to kill him. And we have Guna, captain of the Rangian Guard. Yeah, that's fine. And we're actually winning the siege of Locarno. And there's a lot of Naples troops. 8,000. But that's something the HRE has to deal with. I don't want to do that. This is my personal retinue, I believe. And I think we have set our retinue to reinforce very slowly. No, we have not. Hmm. But they are reinforcing slowly. That's very strange. Whatever. We'll destroy these guys and siege down uh, one of these provinces. That's actually quite um, quite prosperous, it seems. Hmm. Well, whatever the case. Uh, we can actually not siege this. We don't have enough men. Well, how many men can I raise from here? Another 500. And we can move to Archaea. But that is probably going to be even more difficult to siege. Alright, so we need more men. How about you send some troops as well? 300. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but mm, maybe. Alright, that, that should be enough. We have tons of ships. Something I'm not really used to from playing the Game of Thrones mod. You usually don't have any ships, unless you're playing as the Ironborn or some pirates or whatever. Um, so that's very nice to see. Uh, we can shut our gates because we have slow fever in, in these provinces, but that does not really concern me. And we're actually able to imprison the Duke of Philippios. Yeah, I don't think I will do that. What do we have? We have the Duch Duchy of Nic Nicaea and all kinds of, of other things. 
which is here. I've given this out already. Yeah, I've split these two in, in half, I, I believe. Yes. You are married to my sister. You are the one with the claim on Portugal. And this guy has three counties. Alright, well, he's Greek and he's Orthodox. So that's all I can hope for. And he's zealous. So yeah, that's I think that's why I've set them there. Because he's a zealous character, so he might convert these lands. But we shall see. Alright, 2,000 men. Let's uh, send over these other 800. Otherwise, we'll never be able to siege this down. Yep. And these ships can stand down as well. Lovely. So we'll just uh, go forward a little bit and see how things go. We're helping out uh, where we can. Look at Croatia. They even have parts of Naples. They have all of Hungary and Croatia. A really powerful kingdom indeed. Um, Maya Pyrus approaches you and presents you to request to buy a small plot of land. Um, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. It, doesn't have, it never pays off. That's never a good idea to do. Um, what I will do, however, is actually go ahead and build up our hospital here. Now, we could also build a fort, but I don't think I will do that. The trade post by Venice. Oh, Venice. Venice. Okay, we're going to build a sick house. Disease resistance, hospital level. Uh, Pilgrim's Inn. P Piety. Disease resistance plus 2%. Oh, this is 10%. All right, yeah, we're going to build the sick house since we have the money. Let's do that. Um, I could also just, you know, keep improving my my own stuff here. Maybe I should do that. Some extra heavy infantry or... Or what's this? Light, light infantry and archers. I think heavy infantry is what I want. Yes. Alright, so what's this? Who lives forever anyways? No! It seems as though we are not going to be immortal. That's unfortunate. So you asked several people in your court and even waited for a long time for some of them to get back to you. But none of them have heard of a method to avoid the whole mess of dying. You reckon it's not? It's a lot like sleeping though. You probably shouldn't worry about it. So wonder what's for dinner tonight. You take a nap. So maybe, okay, maybe it's not over just yet. It's still somewhat mysterious, so we might live forever. Um, I really would like to see that. I really would like to see this. Why is my brother imprisoned? I imprisoned him, apparently. Okay, he's a monk. Right. Uh, can I just get rid of him? I would get some money. Banish this guy. Yeah, sure. I mean, he's he might come back to to bite me in the uh, in the butt, but he's a monk, so he shouldn't really do much. And he's at the court of oh, an Orthodox Greek. Oh, you have Orthodox Greek subjects. Hmm. Well, Orthodoxy is actually not all that bad. I mean, Catholicism has really taken a hold in Greece, which is annoying. Even in Ant Anatolia, because I've given land to this Portuguese uh, king. Um, or, well, this Portuguese prince, I should say, but orthodoxy is still around. A defensive pact has been dismantled, luckily. Um, that was really uncalled for. Uh, especially if you have a look at all of these people. Ilkhanate, uh, the Mongol revolt. Actually, by the way, is this guy Buddhist? This guy is Buddhist. Like, what the fuck? And um, the, the Chagatai are very strong, the Golden Horde. Novgorod is doing very nice for themselves. But I'm, well, they, they are orthodox. Okay, that's very nice. So orthodoxy is, is doing fine. Um, just not really in this region just yet. But, you know, we've defeated the Ottomans, and that's all that matters. Um, what is this? Majority population has been... Oh, Nikea. Ni Ni Nicaea. I think Nicaea is what it's called. Uh, whatever. Um, I'm going to have to send you over here to get rid of the heretics. There are Bogomilist heretics. We don't want that. But, uh, and you would definitely need to convert Catholicism here as well. And the Sunnis, they are quite frustrating as well. Alright, Venice. Are you Orthodox? Oh, Marco Dandolo is Orthodox. I did not know that. And they must have taken these lands from the Knights. And the Knights are now fighting a war against the Sultan, but they are winning. Okay, that's good for them. Alright, in the meantime, ooh, look at this. Look who's coming. 4,600 men of Naples. Now, this is hills. We could defend in these hills, but I don't think that we can defend against that many men. Uh, we're in mountains. I think mountains are a little bit better defense. And he's even coming. Look at this. Look at this idiot. He's going to cross into mountains. And he's going to cross a, a straight into mountains. And he's, he might still win. That's the, that's the problem. He might still win. Um, although he does not have many people. Straight crossing, and we have the mountain defense, so we can only hope. But I think we might still lose. 
Simply because he has such an overwhelming force of, of men. Uh, yes. Yeah, okay, we're fleeing. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. We just did not have enough men. That's the problem. Alright, fine. Well, this is not my war. I'm just bleeding for my ally, the Holy Roman. Uh, where are your troops, anyway? You have 7,000 men here, but that cannot be it. And Brabant is all of a sudden independent. So is Gelray. Hmm. That's very strange. England is looking nice, though. They have taken almost all of, uh, well, all of Ireland. Sweden is also looking quite powerful. And I like Aragon. Aragon is just amazing. They still have one province left here that they need to take over. And obviously, uh, France has taken parts of Navarra. But other than that, they are looking very nice and healthy. You're actually fighting a war against Brittany. Um, excommunication war. King Joan of Aragon. And you have France on your side, I see. And, yeah, France is helping you with everything. And England as well. Huh. King the Hideous. Alright, so we have been defeated by the uh, Na Naples, but that's okay. That's okay. We're unfortunately not... Unfortunately not immortal. That would have really been something nice. Okay, you... You have changed your clothes, it seems like. You're a skilled tactician, but you actually suck quite a lot of balls. Uh, you know what I would like for my wife to be pregnant she's one-legged but she's a genius I would like to have a son that would be nice um, we are having some trouble with one of your petty nobles who's visiting Sundgau his behavior is unacceptable would be quite an understatement and we'll have to take action soon um, what is this we are having trouble with one of your petty nobles uh, falls uh, I will swallow my pride and take responsibility. Let's not make it worse. Um, well, we're not particularly proud, so I suppose, yes. This guy received an angry letter. I don't think I really want to break with the Holy Roman Empire. Although, you know what? Here's he, he something something people have mentioned in, in the comment section. Um, I've, I've referred to the Holy Romans as the Holy Romans, but they're not. We are the Romans. So, we shouldn't actually get along all that much. So, you know what? No, those are false accusations. False accusations. After all, we are wroth. So, I feel like we have a hot temper. We might write an angry letter. That's possible. A sudden gurgling and feeling of pressure in your gut is all the warning you have before you are forced to make a dash for the privy. So, we have diarrhea. That's, that's nice. I like this, I like this picture of, uh, of an outside toilet. Okay, our court physician is trying to treat us. Uh, food poisoning is apparently what we have. Uh, to draw the illness out of your body, uh, he, we've been covered in leeches. Okay, apparently that seems to be working though, so that's nice. Okay, how's our sick house? The hospital is being built and, uh, ooh, we now have cramps. That's not good. Wait, do we have the slow fever? It has not reached here. We have the camp fever has broken out here and the smallpox coming. Oh my god. Alright, so you guys, you're the ones that got defeated. I think I'm just going to send you right back. In fact, I'm going to raise some more men. Some more men, not Mormons. And I guess I can get you to raise some people as well. Get all on the boats. Get on the boats. And I guess you can get in the boats as well. 4,000 men is what they can carry. And, uh, ooh, we are we're vomiting. So it's not really looking too good. We have cramps, diarrhea, and we're vomiting. But uh, we have accent symptom treatment, so we shall see. What does this actually do? Negative one health. Negative, well, one health. So, okay, so we're, we've, in, in, in total, we've lost about, we've lost about uh, 0.5 health. Um, and Venice. This looks almost like the Roman flag for some reason. We've expanded our sick house in Constantinople. Very nice. So, yeah. We have a th level 3 hospital. Unfortunately, we're not prospering. Look at this. We have prospering here. Disease resistance goes down, actually. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that might be because, yeah, then a lot of people are in that place. I, I guess that's why. That that's why. Okay. So, a soup kitchen. Um, oh my god, look how expensive that is. Expanded sick house. This can go up to extensive hospital complex. Yeah, maybe not. 
maybe City of Galata, you have a university already, the Bishopric of Constantinople, a church town, tax income. Unfortunately though, this guy is... Hmm. Well, he's my... I, I'm his liege, okay. Well, what do, what can I build? I, I would like to build barracks I'm already building. What about a keep? Levy size, garrison size, always good. Keeps are always good. Extra levy and garrison size, 20%. Nice. So when you're not passing a loose stool in the chamber pot, you are bent over retching. Ah, uh, food poisoning. Yes. That has been treated, though. Um, so what does food poisoning do? It is negative 3 health. Not good. Well, we shall see. Um, has come to see you and offers treatment for your illness. As long as you know what you're doing, please do only what's necessary. As I said, as a craven, I think this is what we would go for. Um, these treatments sound scary. You, you would prefer to, left be, to be left to your own devices. I could see that, as we are, as we are craven. Hmm. You know, I think we're going to be uh, left to our own. Although we will die. Don't know if that's a really smart idea under the given circumstances. Please do only what's necessary. You know what? I, I think I'm going to trust him here. I think I'm going to trust him here. Um, yeah. Please do only what's necessary. But I think we will will not not be treated. Uh, we're already feeling better. So yeah, we have we have all the reason to trust him that he's a good uh, physician. So there you go. Okay, you guys, please get over here. Oh, and I totally forgot to catch or to pick you guys up. That's okay, my bad. We'll pick you up in uh, Thessaly. Hopefully. Siege, some siege has been won. Stay here please, brother. Good. I guess by this time, now it's, it's taking longer with the ships. Whatever. We'll just get there. Get you guys together, destroy these men. I don't even know who's leading this, but uh, we're already feeling better. Okay, so no more diarrhea, no more vomiting, cramps, no food poisoning. But who is poisoning me then? Someone must must be poisoning me. That's not cool. And the new commander will go with the uh, with this guy. He's very stressed, but I don't care. Venice is over here as well. Are you fighting Venice? You are fighting Venice in the coast of Smyrna war. Okay, that's fine. In fact, who's who's Sieging this now. Attacker is my vassal. Alright, we'll send in more troops. Stand on these ships. Because we don't need them. Awesome. And I can apparently send Mariah into hiding. And go into hiding myself. People want to kill me. That's not good. <gasps> That's not good at all. What is my current ambition? We have the business focus. Since we are a fortune, fortune builder. That does make sense. Alright. Uh, this war uh, that the Holy Romans have declared. Oh, I keep saying Holy Romans. That these, these scum, these 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 German scum uh, that call themselves Holy Romans have declared uh, is is not coming to an end, which is somewhat frustrating. But that's okay. Look at these. The Naples are coming, and they're probably coming for me, which is not cool. One of my dudes has just died. Did I? Did I inherit something? No, I did not. I did not inherit anything. But we could get. A new castle. Alright, so he's coming directly for my realm. Now, I'm gonna raise the Revenging Guard. It's time. 4,100 men, Revenging Guard. We shall crush our enemies. And let's see what kind of people we have. Do we have anyone flanking? No, but we have you of the Revenging Guard and this guy. And we shall meet you in the field of battle. Stupid Naples. And, um, yeah. People are trying to kill my, my my daughter, I know, but there's, you know, what I'm supposed to do. There's not much I can do. So we'll try and catch this guy. They'll arrive on the 23rd, 22nd, yes, we'll catch him. Nice. We'll have a little bit less morale, but that shouldn't really be a big problem as we have so much heavy infantry and obviously our special forces. We've even taken, oh, we've taken River Crossing. Maybe this was not the best idea. Maybe we're losing this. Our morale's just so bad. We're killing way more men. Yeah, now look at the battles. Oh, we've actually... One of our flanks has has fled, but two of their flanks have fled. Okay, we did turn it around. Well, that was scary. Our center broke. That's never nice. Uh, okay, so we lost a thousand men. They lost way more. Great. <sighs> Fucking Naples. Trinarsia even has... How did you... How did you get that? How did you get the county of here? You're a Bulgarian. Hmm. 
Very strange. Naples over here can be besieged as well. Wallachia needs to get pushed out. Uh, all of these people, but as long as they're not, as long as these guys are not uh, Muslims, I don't really care that much, I think. But anyways, I'm going to have to end this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.